Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive form of dementia. Dementia is a broader term for conditions caused by brain injuries or diseases. They negatively affect memory, thinking, and behavior. The terms dementia and Alzheimer's are sometimes used interchangeably. However, these two conditions aren't the same. Alzheimer's is a type of dementia. Dementia is a broader term for conditions with symptoms relating to memory loss such as forgetfulness and confusion. Dementia includes more specific conditions, such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, traumatic brain injury, and others, also can cause these symptoms and come under dementia. Alzheimer's disease is named after Dr. Alois Alzheimer. In 1906, Dr. Alzheimer noticed changes in the brain tissue of a woman who had died of an unusual mental illness. Her symptoms included memory loss, language problems, and unpredictable behavior. After she died, he examined her brain and found many abnormal clumps, now called amyloid plaques. Further he found tangled bundles of fibers, now called neurofibrillary, or tau, dangles. These plaques and tangles in the brain are still considered some of the main features of Alzheimer's disease. Another feature is the loss of connections between neurons in the brain. Neurons transmit messages between different parts of the brain, and from the brain to muscles and organs in the body. How does Alzheimer's disease affect the brain? Healthy brain versus Alzheimer's brain. Scientists continue to unravel the complex brain changes involved in Alzheimer's disease. Changes in the brain may begin a decade or more before symptoms appear. During this very early stage of Alzheimer's, toxic changes are taking place in the brain. They include abnormal buildups of proteins that form amyloid plaques and tau tangles. Previously healthy neurons stop functioning, lose connections with other neurons, and die. Many other complex brain changes are thought to play a role in Alzheimer's as well. The damage initially appears to take place in the hippocampus and the outrinal cortex. They are parts of the brain that are essential in forming memories. As more neurons die, additional parts of the brain are affected and begin to shrink. By the final stage of Alzheimer's, damage is widespread and brain tissue has shrunk significantly. Old Age One of the great mysteries of Alzheimer's disease is why it largely affects older adults. Research on normal brain aging is exploring this question. Scientists are learning how age-related changes in the brain may harm it. How they affect neurons and other types of brain cells to contribute to Alzheimer's damage. These age-related changes include 1. Atrophy, shrinking, of certain parts of the brain. 2. Inflammation, 3. Blood vessel damage, 4. Production of unstable molecules called free radicals, and 5. Mitochondrial dysfunction, a breakdown of energy production within a cell. Alzheimer's disease and genetics. Most people with Alzheimer's have the late onset form of the disease in which symptoms become apparent in their mid-60s or later. Researchers have not found a specific gene that directly causes late-onset Alzheimer's. But having a form of the apolipoprotein E APOE, gene increases a person's risk. This gene has several forms, and one of those, AP4, increases a person's risk of developing Alzheimer's. It is also associated with an earlier age of disease onset. However, Carrying the AP4 form of the gene does not mean that a person will definitely develop the disease. Some people with no AP4 of may also develop Alzheimer's. Common symptoms of Alzheimer's disease include 1. Memory loss, 2. Language problems, and 3. Impulsive or unpredictable behavior. As the symptoms worsen, it becomes harder for people to remember recent events, to reason, and to recognize people they know. Eventually, a person with Alzheimer's disease may need full-time assistance. The first sign of Alzheimer's disease is usually minor memory problems. Forgetting about recent conversations or events, and forgetting the names of places and objects. As the condition develops, memory problems become more severe and further symptoms can develop, such as Confusion, disorientation and getting lost in familiar places difficulty planning or making decisions problems with speech and language 
problems moving around without assistance or performing self-care tasks. Personality changes, such as becoming aggressive, demanding and suspicious of others. Hallucinations, seeing or hearing things that are not there, and delusions, believing things that are untrue. Low mood or anxiety. Can Alzheimer's disease be prevented? As the exact cause of Alzheimer's disease is not clear, there's no known way to prevent the condition. But there are things you can do that may reduce your risk or delay the onset of dementia, such as Stopping smoking and cutting down on alcohol Eating a healthy, balanced diet and maintaining a healthy weight Staying physically fit and mentally active These measures have other health benefits too. They lower your risk of cardiovascular disease and improve your overall mental health. Early Onset Alzheimer's Disease Symptoms The signs of early onset Alzheimer's are largely the same as those for the late onset version of the disease. It starts with small memory lapses and problems with your brain function. It becomes worse until they affect your ability to manage your daily life. Changes to watch for include Forgetfulness, such as misplacing items, losing track of what day it is, or asking the same questions over and over. Trouble calling up certain words or using the wrong word. Problems with visual processing, like understanding what you read or judging distance. Inability to do complex but familiar tasks, like following a recipe or balancing your checkbook. Trouble with your normal work or household activities. Getting lost bad judgment mood and personality changes physical problems with speaking swallowing or walking how do I treat early onset Alzheimer's an important part of managing your condition is to stay as positive as you can keep up with the activities you still enjoy try different ways to relax like yoga or deep breathing keep your body in good shape too Make sure you eat healthy food and get regular exercise. Medication Medications can help with some symptoms of early onset of Alzheimer's. Your doctor may prescribe drugs to help with memory loss. Alzheimer's disease affects around 5 million people in the US. Estimates suggest that this number will nearly triple by 2060. According to the National Institute on Aging, Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S. Recent estimates suggest that it may be the third leading cause of death, just behind heart disease and cancer. Stages of Alzheimer's disease Mild Alzheimer's disease As Alzheimer's worsens, people experience greater memory loss and other cognitive difficulties. Problems can include, wandering and getting lost, trouble handling money and paying bills, repeating questions, taking longer to complete normal daily tasks, and personality and behavior changes. People are often diagnosed at this stage. Moderate Alzheimer's disease. In this stage, damage occurs in areas of the brain that control language, reasoning, conscious thought, and sensory processing, such as the ability to correctly detect sounds and smells. Memory loss and confusion grow worse, and people begin to have problems recognizing family and friends. They may be unable to learn new things, carry out multi-step tasks such as getting dressed, or cope with new situations. In addition, people at this stage may have hallucinations, delusions, and paranoia and may behave impulsively. Severe Alzheimer's disease Ultimately, plaques and tangles spread throughout the brain, and brain tissue shrinks significantly. People with severe Alzheimer's cannot communicate and are completely dependent on others for their care. Near the end of life, the person may be in bed most or all of the time as the body shuts down. Alzheimer's is a progressive disease, which means the symptoms will gradually worsen over time. Alzheimer's is broken down into seven stages to define it clearly. Stage 1. There are no symptoms at this stage but there might be an early diagnosis based on family history. Stage 2. The earliest symptoms appear, such as forgetfulness. Stage 3. Mild physical and mental impairments appear, such as reduced memory and concentration. These may only be noticeable by someone very close to the person. Stage 4. Stage 4. Alzheimer's is often diagnosed at this stage, but it's still considered mild. 
memory loss and the inability to perform everyday tasks are evident. Stage 5. Moderate to severe symptoms require help from loved ones or caregivers. Stage 6. At this stage, a person with Alzheimer's may need help with basic tasks, such as eating and putting on clothes. Stage 7. This is the most severe and final stage of Alzheimer's. There may be a loss of speech and facial expressions. As a person progresses through these stages, they'll need increasing support from a caregiver. What causes Alzheimer's disease? People who get Alzheimer's disease are usually older, but the disease isn't a normal part of aging. Scientists aren't sure why some people get it and others don't. In people with early onset Alzheimer's, a genetic mutation may be the cause. Late onset Alzheimer's arises from a complex series of brain changes that may occur over decades. The causes probably include a combination of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. But they do know that the symptoms it causes seem to come from two main types of nerve damage. 1. Nerve cells get tangles, called neurofibrillary tangles. 2. Protein deposits called beta amyloid plaques build up in the brain. Researchers aren't sure what causes this damage or how it happens. It could be a protein in blood called AP, for a lipoprotein E, which the body uses to move cholesterol in the blood. There are a few types of app that may be linked to a higher risk of Alzheimer's. It could be that certain forms of it cause brain damage. Some scientists think it plays a role in building the plaques in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. Whether or not app partly causes Alzheimer's, genes almost certainly play a role in the disease. Someone with a parent who had the disease is more likely to have it, too. People with high blood pressure and high cholesterol have a greater chance of getting Alzheimer's. More rarely, head injuries may be a reason, too, the more severe they are, greater the risk of Alzheimer's later in life. Biggest risks linked to Alzheimer's disease are being older and having Alzheimer's in your family. The bulk of research into understanding and treating Alzheimer's has centered on this amyloid hypothesis. Huge sums of money have been invested in experiments involving mice genetically modified to produce amyloid, and also in developing drugs that block or destroy amyloid proteins, or sometimes degraded tangles of tau. Amyloid? Tau? It has become clear that this approach isn't working. In 2018 alone, the US National Institutes of Health spent $1.9 billion on Alzheimer's research. But according to a recent study, the failure rate of drug development for Alzheimer's has been 99%. Some have begun to question the amyloid hypothesis. It has been discovered that people can have brain plaques and tangles without having dementia. They include some in their 90s with exceptional memories. Bryce Vissel at the University of Technology Sydney, Australia, concluded that there is insufficient data on amyloid. With available data, it can't be suggested that amyloid has a central or unique role in Alzheimer's. The team said that it still believed that amyloid itself went on to cause the brain damage of Alzheimer's, not bacteria. But spates of subsequent studies have looked at microbes. Bacteria have been found in the brains of people who had Alzheimer's when they were alive. But it hasn't been clear whether the bacteria caused the disease or were simply able to enter brains damaged by Alzheimer's. They include chlamydia pneumonia, a cause of lung infections, Borrelia burgdorferi, the agent of Lyme disease. Multiple teams have been researching Porphyromonas gingivalis. It is the main bacterium involved in gum disease, which is a known risk factor for Alzheimer's. So far, teams have found that P. gingivalis invades and inflames brain regions affected by Alzheimer's. The first sign of Alzheimer's disease is usually minor memory problems. Forgetting about recent conversations or events, and forgetting the names of places and objects. As the condition develops, memory problems become more severe and further symptoms can develop, such as Confusion, disorientation and getting lost in familiar places Difficulty planning or making decisions, problems with speech and language Problems moving around without assistance or performing self-care tasks Personality changes, such as becoming aggressive, demanding and suspicious of others Hallucinations, seeing or hearing things that are not there, and delusions, believing things that are untrue. Low mood or anxiety. Can Alzheimer's disease be prevented? 
As the exact cause of Alzheimer's disease is not clear, there's no known way to prevent the condition. How to delay the onset But there are things you can do that may reduce your risk or delay the onset of dementia, such as Stopping smoking and cutting down on alcohol Eating a healthy, balanced diet and maintaining a healthy weight, staying physically fit and mentally active These measures have other health benefits too They lower your risk of cardiovascular disease and improve your overall mental health How is Alzheimer's disease treated? Alzheimer's is complex, and it is therefore unlikely that any one drug or other intervention will successfully treat it Current approaches to treating Alzheimer's focus on helping people maintain mental function. They do so by treating the underlying disease process, and managing behavioral symptoms. Various other types of support are also available to help people with Alzheimer's live as independently as possible. Make changes to patients' home environment so it's easier to move around and remember daily tasks. Psychological treatments such as cognitive stimulation therapy may also be offered. They help to support patients' memory, problem-solving skills and language ability. People with Alzheimer's disease can live for several years after they start to develop symptoms. But this can vary considerably from person to person. Alzheimer's disease is a life-limiting illness. Most people diagnosed with the condition may die from another cause. As Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurological condition, it can cause problems with swallowing. This can lead to aspiration, food being inhaled into the lungs, which can cause frequent chest infections. It's also common for people with Alzheimer's disease to eventually have difficulty eating and have a reduced appetite. There's increasing awareness that people with Alzheimer's disease need palliative care. This includes support for families, as well as the person with Alzheimer's. In addition to medication, lifestyle changes may help to manage patients' condition. For example, their doctor might develop strategies to help them or their loved one. Focus on tasks, limit confusion, avoid confrontation, get enough rest every day, stay calm. Some people believe that vitamin E can help prevent decline in mental abilities. But studies indicate that more research is needed. Be sure to ask the doctor before taking vitamin E or any other supplements. It can interfere with some of the medications used to treat Alzheimer's disease.